Hezekiah Walker. Hello. How you feeling, my brother? Man, I feel, I feel, uh, I'm sad, bro. Why? Because my mayor, man. Oh, you voted for Mayor Adams? I don't live in New York. I work here. You voted for Mayor Adams? I don't think I voted for him, but I like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really, I like him because he was doing a, actually, I don't really have any good reason why I like him, but I saw him do, a, uh, he was doing a speech once somewhere, I forget, and, uh, and they were like questioning him and like questioning his experience. And he goes, well, you do it then. And then the always a good audience, answer. And the whole audience just shut the f up. And I was like, that is the best way to handle politics. Always a good answer. We cry about politicians all the f time. None of us want to do this. Nobody want to do the job. It's not, you don't pay you no money. It's all the scrutiny in the world. You get hated by half the people yeah. and you make 100 grand a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like here, he probably had to take a pay cut from when he was a policeman. At least you could I, take bribes. I think I read today that he was making 258 or some shit like that a year. But imagine making that much money versus having the second most powerful job in the country. Mayor of New York is the second most powerful job in the country. You think more powerful than Cali? Yeah. Really? They got a gay guy running California now. No. Gavin Newsom? No disrespect to all the gay guys out there, you know what I'm saying? When you see a handsome man... It's a compliment man, to them. Exactly. When you see a handsome man, you're like, man, you could be out here knocking them all down. All of them. <laughs> man, you got it. Well, maybe... Yeah. Well, maybe, Captain Freak Or off. maybe we missing out. What do you mean? Maybe he's knocking all the, <laughs> all the bussy down, and we missing out. We're missing out on Gavin, or we missing on out the on the bussy? bussy? Yeah, we are missing out on the bussy. I don't know. We, know. we just don't like it. It's like, I don't like cilantro, <laughs> but I'm sure people that do enjoy it. I hate it. I think it's awful. But I'm sure the people that like it, like Mexicans, it's an acquired it. taste. It, it is. <laughs> it is an acquired taste. I'm uh, talking about to, bussy, not cilantro. To be I'm fair. not going to acquire it. That's a fact. Uh -huh. He's been married twice. He was married oh, yeah, to. Oh yeah, you married to your man's girl. Why is it my man's? <laughs> Why is it my man's? Because he be leaving comments on your posts. Yeah, but he was he my man. When... Oh, uh, he, Donald Trump Jr. Right? Junior. Why is he yes, my man's, there. bro? When he was winning, he was my man's. But now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea flip flops over here. Chelsea, what's up, Kamala? Kamala, you out here killing it, Kamala. <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. He was married. He's married to no. Kimberly Guilfoyle. That was his second wife, right? Yeah. yeah he Gavin. stole Gavin's beard. Yeah, come on, You're man. You're telling me Gavin's not gay? No, come he's on, not. bro. Why do you think that? Look at him. His mouth. I never looked. Come on, bro. No, nah, I never looked. I just know he's like, he's, he, he fits the California uh, aesthetic. Tall. Second we start talking handsome. about gay shit, you just need something in your hand, bro. Gotta grab you it. Just, you just need oh, something. Gotta grab it. Everybody. <laughs> Now I'm not playing gay no more, y'all. You don't want to make him horny. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing. Yo, the Incredible Bulk would be fun. <laughs> the Incredible Bulk, like this Yo, big, this big gay green guy, this big gay green Yo. guy. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to make him you horny. You wouldn't like him when he's talking. To you wouldn't like him very much. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane, man. This dude just gets a big green bulk in his pants. Every single time. <laughs> you don't want to make him horny. Salute to Gavin Newsom, though, man. Nah, I don't know if he's gay, man. I'm just talking shit. That's all. It's a podcast. That's what we do, okay? Um, Mayor Adams. What happened with Mayor Adams, man? Pull it up, Chris. I, I, I just pull up a headline. All right, somebody Yo, pull free up Free Mayor headline. Adams, bro. Free Mayor he Adams. He's not even arrested. I'm, I don't think he turns himself in until next week. Oh. Yeah, he don't even turn himself in until next week. Right, well, stay free, Mayor Adams. We fuck with you. It's interesting, right? Because I'm starting to see something about public servants. Ooh. I think that we have to start paying public servants top dollar. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I love that you said this, by the way. We have to. It's the same thing with teachers. It's the same thing with... Whoa, whoa, let's no, not go too far. No, public servants. Any public let's servant. Let's not go no, too far. No, teachers too, man. We have to pay these people top dollar because as we just said, they're already doing jobs nobody else wants to do. Right. They're making little to no money. Right. Right? Taking all the shit in the world. Yep. It's too easy to entice them to do the wrong thing if you're not paying them correctly. Now, I'm not making so, no excuses no, for them. No, 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 no. You make a great point where it's like, I think the specific thing, it's tough, obviously, with teachers. Like, yeah, I think if you have like a heart, you want teachers to get paid more. Yeah. You appreciate the fact that like they are responsible for our children nine hours a fucking day. Oh, man. And you want to nickel and dime them. That's a little ridiculous. And they that, get mad when they get OnlyFans. Right? You know or, when, or when they suck one of the kids' dick, they, you probably don't not even give them enough uh, money for food. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
A girl got to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or a guy. Or a guy. God damn. God, we got some munchai over there. We got some munches. <laughs> we got some munches over there. What I'm trying to say is this is really our fault. Oh. This is our fault for not compensating these teachers more. Fucking terrifying. And Eric Adams. And Eric Adams. No, but the caveat that I would make is you cannot give people positions of immense power and not compensate them financially along with it. Because what will happen is that they will be susceptible to bribes. Absolutely. I think in Singapore, the president or whatever the fuck they got out there, I think makes like three mil a year. Three and mil? I, I think that they pay their... their so their, that's my question. What's a bribe-proof number for the mayor of New York City? Exactly. So it's like, there's no such thing as a bribe-proof number. You have to have some with integrity. But if you got a job where you're making millions a year or you're making something like that... It, you're less susceptible to ten grand from the Turkish embassy or whatever the fuck right. it is. Hundred thousand. They said that. Exactly. Mayor, Mayor you, Adams is uh, charged with bribery and fraud. They said he. Come he, on, he, now. He's being a Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney in Manhattan, said Adams took over hundred grand in graft and used his powers to help Turkey. So, so here's the thing. That Turkish shit is probably bullshit. Like, and there's a lot of different angles to this. Like, my understanding from what I heard from people is that. There was a few Biden what are called surrogates, which means these are people in powerful positions of government that supported uh, Joe Biden, right? Yeah. And Mayor Adams was one of them. And then during the whole migrant crisis in New York, he spoke out against Biden. And then ever since that, all of a sudden, there's an investigation. There's this turkey thing. Like, But he wasn't the only person. Like, it was plenty of people who turned around and started saying, like, okay, this Republic, this migrant shit is too much. You know that, what I'm saying? Yeah, but they might not have been the surrogates <sighs> for Biden. Yeah. So it was a big slap in the face. Now, here's the thing that's interesting, though. Because I was talking to some people that I know I don't want to, like, say who is, but they, they were telling me kind of, like, how government works a little bit. Like, every mayor of every town, okay, city, whatever, gets money. The way you pay them is not directly. Yeah. What you'll do is, like, the mayor will host a dinner, and you'll buy a table at the dinner for $10,000. And you know if you want to get your building code pushed through or rezoning, you have to buy three tables at the mayor's dinner, his charity softball dinner. That's, that's lobbying. That's every, everybody does what, that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, in this situation, what I find peculiar is that it's so egregious. Like, there are systems set up for the politicians to get rich. Look at every politician that entered office. They come out twice as rich. Clearly, they're making money. Don't just take an envelope across the table. There has to be something more to this. That's why I think, like, see, here's the thing. I, I, I don't disagree with you. He, he's indicted on five federal public corruption charges, including bribery and wire fraud. Here's the thing about when you go against the grain. Now, let's just say hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, Eric Adams is right. He was a surrogate. Uh, he, he, he went against the grain, questioned the Biden administration. They got upset. They got their get back. You can't get them back if there's nothing to get back. You understand what I'm saying? If you're clean, if they don't have nothing on you, because these, these things yeah, yeah. are nothing until they want them to be something. The question is, I don't think you could get to that level of power with, without something on you. Like, I don't think they let you get there. Damn. You know what I mean? Like they got something on Kamala, they got something on Biden, they got something, they got something on everybody, and that's why you're allowed by the administration to reach that level because they know at any point in time shit hits the fan. Yeah. So once again, I've said this before, and I say it a million times: President Barack Obama must have been the cleanest human being walking the face of the earth. Or, because even your ops know, even your ops know your bullshit. I mean, Tucker brought that guy on that said that, that Obama was getting a little Gavin Newsom back in the day. Man, I'm supposed to be the gay one here. <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah, why, I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Tucker brought on the, the guy who said he gave him the Gavin Newsom. <laughs> the Gavin is crazy. Yo, he gave him Yo, some give Gavin. Give somebody the Gavin? That's, is that crazy. is a little wild Gavin, thing. Gavin, I don't know why show just trying to make you gay this part. Yo, but, you're not, Gavin's not gay. He's just handsome. It's my insecurity. He is, he is. He's a good guy. It's my man. insecurity, Gavin. I, I apologize. I'm looking at the indictment. It was unsealed on Thursday. Prosecutors said the scheme began when he was a top elected official in Brooklyn, continued when he was mayor. The investigation focused on whether Eric Adams conspired with the Turkish government to receive illegal foreign campaign contributions in exchange for acting on their behalf. And the acting on their behalf was like 
allowing them to build something for their embassy or some shit. Yeah, yeah it says uh, like the get the fuck out of yeah. here. Like that ma that makes you not qualified to be mayor because you let the Turkish people build an embassy somewhere. Yeah, like so every single real estate developer in the city hasn't bribed the mayor in some way, shape, or form. Oh, absolutely. Fuck out of here, so bro. The this benefits is goofy. included luxury travel, free and discounted Turkish airline tickets, and free meals in hotel rooms from wealthy foreigners, and at least one Turkish government. Can I official. say something, Charlemagne? Of course. Why I don't believe this? Because he's still bald. If, <laughs> if Mayor Adams all of a sudden came out with a Scotty he Pippen would buy throw, I'd be like, that motherfucker's corrupt. That motherfucker's going to Turkey, and he's taking everything that they got. But the fact that he's still bald lets me know that that man is pure. It said, Mr. Adams pressured officials at the New York Fire Department to permit a new Turkish consulate building in Manhattan despite safety problems. A fire department official overseeing the safety assessment said he was told he would lose his job if he did not follow the order. Jesus Christ, man. Man, come on, bro. Also, all this bureaucracy around building is bullshit, too. Like, every one of these dudes is getting bribed. All these people that are signing off on your plumbing or your electric, half of them don't even have legit papers to even do the work. The whole thing is, is, is a giant honeypot of corruption. This, there's got to be something deeper than just this $100,000 for the Turkish embassy. This, this is crazy, too, in the indictment. Eric Adams, the defendant continued to conceal the benefits he received from foreign nationals seeking to gain influence over him. Adams did not report any of the 2019 gifts he received from the airline manager or the promoter on his annual disclosure form. In addition, in March 2019, while exchanging text messages to plan another possible trip to Turkey in which the airline manager would arrange travel for Adams, the Adams staffer texted Adams to be on the safe side. Please delete all messages you send me. That's a little crazy. <laughs> Adams responded, always do. <laughs> on June 22nd, 2018, the same day as the fundraising event just described, the Adams staffer and the promoter discussed by text message a possible trip by Adams to Turkey. The promoter stated, in part, fundraising in Turkey is not legal, but I think I can raise money for your campaign off the record. The Adams staff, staffer inquired, how will Adams declare that money here? The promoter responded, he won't declare it R. We'll make the donation through an American citizen in the U.S., a Turk. I'll give cash to him in Turkey, or I'll send it to an American. He will make a donation for you. The Adam Stafford replied, I think he wouldn't get involved in such games. They might cause a big stink later on, but I'll ask anyways. The Adam Stafford then asked, how much do you think would come from you? Question mark. The promoter responded, max 100 grand. The Adam Stafford wrote 100 grand. Do you have a chance to transfer that here? We can't do it while Eric is in Turkey. To which the promoter replied, let's think. After this conversation, the Adam Stafford asked Adams whether the Adam Stafford should pursue the unlawful foreign contributions offered by the promoter. And contrary to the Adam Stafford's expectations, Adams directed that the Adam Stafford pursue the promoter's illegal scheme. Hold one more part, because this is funny as shit. The Adam Stafford also agreed to speak with FBI agents and falsely denied the criminal conduct of herself and Adams, among others. At one point during her voluntary interview, the Adam Stafford excused herself to a bathroom and while there, deleted the encrypted messaging application she had used to communicate with Adams, the promoter, the Turkish official, the airline manager, and others. She deleted WhatsApp during her interview. I mean, that's... that's. <laughs> I mean, She's a real one. Hey, come out with your hands up, guys. She's a real one. She's a real one. Hey, they, come they out got with you. your hands they got up. You. They got you. They got you. Yo, and here's the thing. Think about this. This happens to every mayor, right? Oh, every man. Every mayor. And I wonder if they're basically just using this now. They're like, what if he eventually becomes a senator? What if he eventually becomes, um, he has like a cabinet position? Right. Then the Turkish government goes, hey, by the way, we don't want to make it public that we bribed you when you were mayor. So do us a favor and give us this. You know, no, they yeah. said that they said they specifically targeted him because they thought he had a trajectory trajectory up. So yeah. it's not even about the embassy now. It's not even about this money now. It's the mayor of New York is the most powerful, second most powerful position in government. And you are going to go somewhere with huge influence right after that. And they want to know they got their hooks in. So you he well, can't be so. I want to point out that shows is such a tried and true New Yorker. Yeah, that he keeps saying the mayor of New York City is the second most powerful person in government, all of government. I would say it's the first. <laughs> I would say it's the first. Forget the vice president. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Speaker yeah. of the house. Forget the speaker of the house. The mayor of New York City is the second most powerful person in the government. The things he says, he has the second most powerful mouth in government. Gavin Newsom would be the first. Nah, Secretary Pete. 
Sex yo, therapy. yo, the fact that we didn't say one woman, we need to be congratulated. There's no sexism on this podcast. This is only the celebration of homosexuals. This is the Brilliant Age podcast. Gavin Newsom is straight. I've said it here once, I'll say it again. He's a straight man this that loves vaginas. So crazy. Mayor Adams, man, this is such. Shout out Pete, though. Salute to Secretary Pete. God Listen. damn. This is crazy. I don't know, man. I just yeah. know that uh, I would love to see public servants, elected officials making more money so they aren't subject to situations like this. And listen, everything, Mayor Adams came on Breakfast Club. Mayor Adams said, hey, um, there's, a, there's, a, there, there, there's an attack happening on black mayors all across the country. The real focus should be on our national government that's saying, why are you doing this to New York? Why are you, check out what they're doing. They're doing it to New York. They're doing it to Chicago. They're doing it to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. They're doing it to Houston. What is the same in all those cities? All black mayors. Mm. All black mayors. And so what we're saying, same thing that I'm going through here, my brother Johnson is going through. My sister Bass is going through. My brother Turner is going through. So our folks, are, what they wanted to happen, Governor Abbott wanted to happen, we're going to turn these of, of cities against their mayors. We're gonna create this environment where they're all gonna go against mm. their mayors. Go Google what they're doing to my brother in Chicago. Go Google what they're doing to Sister Bass. So the cities have now turned against these black mayors that are making real change for the first time. I got my guy Marty Smalls. He he got indicted like a week ago as well. What happened? Him and his wife. Hey, it was something silly. It's something. It's so silly. Like murder. No, it was like he disciplined his. Something. I don't, I, it's something silly. I'll look up the case in a second. You're talking but, about Atlantic City. In Atlantic City, yeah, 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 yeah. You saw that? Yeah. What was it for? What was the case again? They, uh, child abuse, I think, essentially. But he but spanked like, his daughter or it's something? It's like a teenage daughter. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. It's something strange, it's silly like that. But an indictment? So, here's the thing. <laughs> now, you get indicted because you're Mayor Eric Adams, right? You get indicted and you say, hey, it's because. I was against the Biden administration. Now you say it's an attack on black mayors. Mm. All of that may be true, but you gotta be clean. You can't have anything like this. No. You know what I mean? You can't have anything they can use against you. I hate when people say things like, well, he got set up. Yeah, but if he didn't, if he wasn't into what he was into, then he wouldn't got set he up. He got set up. It would have so, also helped if he'd been doing a good job. I mean, he's been doing a terrible job. Has he? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, how do you judge the job of the mayor? I think we're comparing it to, like, Bloomberg, where he would just spend his own money all the time, and then we got spoiled. Our, our, our Giuliani, even though, you know, Giuliani had, you know, terrible uh, uh, policies in regards to policing, mm. especially for black and brown people, but it definitely cleaned the city up. What are right. you trying to say? What? What? You, what? You, what, what, what <laughs> he had terrible <laughs> policies when it came to black and brown people. But you're saying it worked? Are you saying it? it I mean, it definitely cleaned the city up. Interesting. One hundred percent. It cleaned the city up. It just wasn't fair. It wasn't fair practices. Like they, Chris had a good idea one time, even though it's illegal.